Good morning, everybody. What's the time, love? Ten past ten. It's ten past ten in the morning. We've been up for a while. The missus is already uh, in the middle of baking an ice cake, as you can see. We got a load of firewood in, getting ready for winter. We still want to go out the farm and cut the, some firewood. Okay, this video is about Victron, Victron gear. <coughs> <coughs> Um, I will be upgrading all this stuff in here soon, by the way, for those that are interested. Um, these inverters have been running my house for many, 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 many years and they're still working fine. Um, I'm going to replace them with the newer units, which even work better than these older ones. I mean, these are really old now. Um, these ones will be going into my spares box and they will be my spares and I'll be putting two of the latest ones up but that's another time that, just to let you know what's going on and because I'm bored shitless and I need something to do so I'll spend some money and change those over this video is about Victron gear I have quite a lot of Victron gear um, I don't use their inverters uh, mainly because they're for what they are they're very expensive all right so we're looking at the uh, Victron charge controllers I absolutely love the Victron charge controllers I have no problem with them at all this one's a uh, 150 85 TR um, with built-in Bluetooth we go over to the camper trailer I've got a BMV 702 with a dongle there, uh, excuse me, there's its little dongle just there, okay, and we go over here, and I've got a um, 130 1224 volt MPP T charge controller sitting in the trailer. All right, what I want to do is actually uh, turn some gear on. So bear with me a minute while I do that. Uh, I turn these two switches on first, and I reach all the way over here. Turn the main battery switch on, and then I reach and turn the power up to the trailer on. Okay. That should, that should have made everything live. And indeed it has, okay? The batteries are at 13.27 volts. Currently I'm taking out 0 0.24 amp hour or amps an hour and that's just to run whatever's turned on in here including the uh, Bluetooth dongle. So I'm using 4 watts and the batteries are 100%, okay? Alright, and the current temperature is 24 degrees Celsius. Okay, so I'm just going to go into here. Let me get into my iPad for a minute. Okay, now some of you, uh, since the last patch, now the, the last patch on the units, I'll just quickly log in here, see if there's any more. Okay, here we go. As you can see, I'm picking up the 150, oh, go back, I'm picking up the 150 85, I'm picking up the 130, and I'm picking up the BMV 702 
So I'll just quickly see if any of these need updating. No, that one doesn't. I'll click on the one in the trailer. And that one also doesn't. That's the panel voltage. The batteries are full, so there's nothing coming in. That's the uh, battery voltage, etc., etc., etc. But there's nothing that needs updating. Now, I've had uh, one uh, gentleman that uh, since his last patch, um, he's he can't log into his Bluetooth uh, BMV 700. Now, the problem uh, I see there, sir, um, if you read the patch notes, you also needed to uninstall your uh, Victron Connect application and reinstall it because the new patch required a new Victron Connect application. So I've got an iPad. So I just go to the Apple Store and I type in Victron Connect and there it is there. And you just simply can click on that. Okay. Open and download. Now, um, another handy tool that I recommend new people to Victron Gear get is the Victron Toolkit. Um, it covers all the different gear and then you can enter in, your, well basically it, it, here, it says it right there. Enables you to calculate cable size, voltage drop, easily select the cable lengths, amp out amps and cable cross section to determine the voltage drop. Okay. It's a really handy tool um, for new people and I thoroughly recommend it, absolutely 100%. I haven't got it on this one here, but I will get it. And it's suitable for people done uh, four and above, okay? So, what I'd like you to do, you know, whenever you update, whether it's um, your Victron gear or any other charge controllers or inverters, like um, the Midnight Classics, um, even even the firmware in in, in these MPPT um, or MPP. In, um, inverters that I get from Taiwan can be updated and I, and I do that whenever there's something interesting happening uh, in their software but uh, due to the age of these ones now it's actually I'm actually uh, my house my system's going to be even more efficient if I just upgrade to the newer inverters these ones are fine and they're going to make fantastic spares um, and let's face it, you know, a man's got to be busy. Um, I mean, I don't have to stay at home. I can go out, I can uh, go and get exercise down the beach. I can go and chop firewood at the farm. But due to uh, our, my and my wife's age, uh, we've chosen to stay at home. Okay? So... We're currently working inside the house, as you have all seen. Um, and that's, that job's not going to take forever. When that's done, then I need another job to move on to. Onto, otherwise, I'll, I'll be going stir-crazy. Um, I'd rather be out the bush camping right now, but I can't we, we Anyway, can't so that. getting back to the Victron gear. This should have installed itself by now. Oh, I can't get to me button. Hang on. Uh, go across here. There it is here, the Victron Toolkit. Let's go in here. Let's 
synchronizing. Okay. Uh, and then you've got your cable calculator, which um, AC, DC, you got your volts. Let's go to DC up to 48 volts. <coughs> your cable lengths. You don't need to be uh, have a Victron to do this, by the way. This is just a, a, a nice free tool that they provide. For getting cable sizes all right led definitions and that you go through to your different bits and bobs um i just bought a um a 17 amp um fully waterproof charge controller to go in here it can actually be submerged it's also a victron so it'll work with bluetooth as well um, these are, I think they're, um, inverters. I can't see their charge controllers on here, but, you know, and you can go in and it tells you what the, like the, the 7515s and all that LED lights and what they all mean. And then you can derate, uh, your cable according to, like, out nominal charger inverter all right if you go to charger you can go to 40 um and set your temperature that's your temperature setting all right nominal current four amps three you know it's pretty good it's pretty advanced stuff and i also recommend it okay i really do recommend I've got a it. video out that shows how to update and set up the uh, BMV 702 for lithiums. Um, I will say I, I have set this up for lithium, and uh, we did a, a in the field test. And I'm finding this and the in the uh, associated math involved in my settings. This is actually very accurate in the percentage. It, it tells me. For lithium batteries which is great because lithium batteries are just about you know they they don't drop a lot of voltage um so they actually have to do work work out on the amps but uh, so far i've found a 702 um pretty damn accurate it wasn't any good on my big system here with all those batteries in the cupboard that runs my house 24 7 and i could never get it right for that and I use the uh, battery monitors, like that, that uh, are an optional extra with the midnight gear. And I found there that, but there uh, have proved to be the most accurate yet. These cables dangling out the bottom here are what I use to update the firmware in the classics. Um, of course, I do the Victrons all, all through Bluetooth, and I do those ones there through, through the computer, right there. All right. Um, so that's it. I hope you are keeping busy during your quarantine. Um, that's all I can say. Stay safe and, and stay healthy and... Try not to go out too much. Uh, the police are handing out some pretty big fines right now. So, uh, you know, for people that, that blatantly go out and break the rules and try and go holidays into other shires when they know they shouldn't. Even one of the politicians went and thought it was okay to go up to his uh, Queensland property uh, for a holiday. And he's had to resign. I mean, what a dick. What a total Take it dick. easy, you know, take it easy. Play a computer game. Paint the inside of your house. Um, put some new shelves in. Upgrade your off-grid system. Or, you know, play with your trailer. Go camping in your backyard. Um, yeah, whatever. All right, bye for now.
Thank you.